I said tired. Not tired of you, just tired. Want to buy, Signor Angelo? At that dagger. For human sacrifice. Where did you get it? My boyfriend. Where do you steal it from? Back of not steal. He's fine. Where? None of your business, but he find more. Very pretty, too. Very, very pretty. Well, I'm bad business right now. I've only got $20 between me and starvation. What is this? Nada de nada, señor Ángel. De Havilland Bookkeeping. Angelo, hi. What can I do for you? Money hassle? Hmm. I'll pass you on to Mrs. De Havilland. De Havilland. Bold. With cheerful statements of importance and big. I want the author's name to leap out. Okay. Mrs. Dehavilland. Cartagena. Pass it on to my office. Well, I'll be there. The big boss, I'll say. For a run of the mill book, if you will say. No such thing in the mill I'm running. Didn't you receive our last letter? Which one was that? The one saying you're fired. I also had the office forward your plane fare. If it doesn't get you home, at least you'll pay for your food. Maureen, why did you always sound like someone who just feed in your jacuzzi? I'm working deadlines here. In four months, you only scratched out two manuscripts, and the agreement was for six. I can't afford to have my associates suspect that I'm financing my ex-husband's vacation in paradise. <laughs> your ex-husband was sent to write the history of the conquistador, the weekly story. Well, you just stab in the back. You had talent before you went to drink. All I needed was one look at you to sober up. Take a third class 
still be scribbling on on my first Spanish book. Not that my help got you very far. <laughs> well, you got me. It allows a one-way plane ticket. Look at this. Not even for New York. Italy. All the way to Italy? Well, that must have cost him more money. Why? Why the generosity? You're sending me back to my place of origin. Back to Mom. But I'll be damned if I let that bitch slap me off like this. That means you're gonna cash in the plane ticket and stay, right? I've got plans. Great plans. This is gonna finance one of the juiciest drinking sprees in the history of frustrated mankind. He who drinks without joy remains thirsty. Uh, go to hell. <laughs> Money from New York? New yeah. The plane left without me. Now you can buy my knife. <laughs> Why don't I just buy you? Go and eat. Do you have any idea how much your lava boy stuff is worth? Sir, maybe $40,000. Dios mío. Did you fish this too? Oh, no, senor. I, I find it in the box with all the rest. Maybe you can sell it too. Maybe. But uh, you gotta let me have it for a while. You can't imagine what you've come across. This is Nicoesa's diary. Now, if it was found here in Colombia, it means Nicoesa took another route. You've just rewritten history. Congratulations. Thank you. Big deal. But is it possible you don't understand the finer implications? <laughs> Equation. There you are, Professor. Yeah. Thank you, Maria. was plotting Nicoesa's downfall. With the help of his allies at Daria, he sent Nicoesa and his clique back to Hispaniola about a caravel that was poorly rigged. And the vessel was never sighted again. Do you understand what that means? No. Hmm. It means that Nicoesa, instead of heading north, like is reported in his book, sailed east and then down the coast and that's how these lovely objects found their way to Colombia. Look, spare me the ancient history. Just tell me how I can set up a deal. His name is Heinrich Holtzman. Emeralds like you've never seen. He's got the largest private collection of pre-Columbian gold. Is he the paying kind? When he's buying. But he's not gonna look at your stuff. Peddling state treasures is illegal. Oh, and that's that easy? He's personally responsible for the physical elimination of about 80,000 gypsies. In his youth, he was known as the Butcher of Treblinka. 
Is there any way to approach this uh, gentleman? Maybe. Through an antique dealer. Okay. okay. Here you go. Listen, if you're going to play the American tourist, you can buy me another drink. <laughs> found him in the lagoon, but he was dead before he hit the water. A heart attack. They tortured him. Torture? Yes. The work of professionals. That doesn't make sense. Hey, Fred. He was the kindest man on earth. People like him are very hard to find, senor. Beauty is in the eye of the beholder. But I love to touch, to lay my hands to it, run my fingers over the contours. We do not put beautiful women in museums. Why should we store away our treasures? What did you say your friend's name was again? Alonso Quintero. But he wasn't going to deal with you directly. He mentioned an antique dealer of your trust. Your friend misinformed you. I don't trust anyone. Mr. Angelo will be on his way now.
I still can't help thinking I'm responsible. Who's holding the collection? He thought I was. He went through torture for me. Maybe he was killed for an entirely different reason. It doesn't make sense. It doesn't make sense. I'd still be wandering through the library like a lost child if it hadn't been for him. You're a writer too? I'm preparing a thesis. White slavery in the reign of Isabel the Catholic. Sounds fascinating. You're lucky you said that. Are you sure it was the same day I went to the library? Positive. I gave him a lift that day. This is where he asked me to drop him off. I took off and didn't see whether he went to the shop or not. Was he holding some old book? Yes, a diary. Queen's diary. He showed it to me. He was so excited. I'd never seen him so happy. Do you think the antique dealer's involved? I'll soon find out. Well, maybe I ought to go with you. What if you're going to need a witness? Take my advice. Stay out of this. Senor. Buenos dias. I thought you were a fisherman. See, si. we are fishing for money. <laughs>
Nothing else here. I only find the treasure. There's a draft. It's hollow. It looks like a door.
Signor Angelo, you tell me what we see up there. You tell me. Money, Paco. Money. A big heaping pile of it. Either death or trouble if we don't play our cards right. What do you want me to do? To start with, I want you to keep your mouth shut. Not a word of this to anybody. Not even to wait. No. Señor García, las llaves. Doscientos uno. El señor García. Garcia, no?
Up in a cave. It didn't wind up. The spaceship is the cave. It probably got stuck in the mountain when it crashed. Uh, Keep still. Uh, <laughs> Those men who tried to kill you, they knew about the spaceship? Why else would they kill King Terra and the antique dealer? They're guarding a secret. They know the collection came from the cave. They must have intercepted the diary gave to Quintero. Well, then they know about the caravel. Yeah. They know it's inside the spaceship, that it belonged to Nicuesa, and that it's been there 500 years. Gracias, Manny. Why are they so keen on keeping such earth-shaking news a secret to the point of killing people? Horseman could have answered that before he got packed away in salt. See? It's New York. Oh. World television. Bob! Ted Angelo here. Listen carefully, keep your wallet ready. I got a story for you. UFOs really exist. Hi, Ted. How's the local fire water? Listen to me. Five centuries ago, an alien spaceship intercepted a boat ferry conquistadors from Panama to Hispaniola. It was Nicuesa's boat. The spaceship 
scooped it up and then accidentally crashed into the mountain where it remained trapped for the next 500 years. It's still there. This is no bullshit. You can see it. Skeleton is at all. Have you fallen in love with that small town who told you that tale? No, I saw it. I saw it with my own eyes. I went inside and flying saucer. Send the team down to Cartagena and make sure they're good and well equipped. This isn't the pipe dream. It's the hottest scoop of the century. There is even someone trying to kill me to keep it under wraps. All right, you're not drunk. You haven't eaten any strange mushrooms. What's this cock and bull story gonna cost me? A hundred thousand. That all? No kidding. All right. Where do you want me to send? Hotel Caribe. I'll enter it from there. We're playing with fire going back up there. I'll be playing with fire wherever I go. I've seen too much. They're gonna try putting me in a tight fitting box. A fitting box for two. If I stay here any longer. Try and see if you can walk. all the mystery. Afraid of competition? Isn't this supposed to be the scoop of the century? <laughs> The one inside the flying saucer, huh? The one that uh, was here for the last 500 years? Yeah, that's the one. Flying saucers have been around for centuries. Pliny saw them in 83 AD. But there was already talk in the Old Testament. Remember those references in flaming chariots in Santa's school? Hmm? Noah, right? The same guy who invented wine. I see. The boss told you I'm a drink. <laughs> Bunch. <laughs> Deep in Peru, in the Amazon plateau, the Incas dug trenches hundreds of yards long. Seen on the ground, they are perfectly mean. Just a lot of hard work for no reason. But from the sky, they take on a shape of a bird with open wings, like a sacred message. Considering there are no mountains around, who were the Incas communicating with? Huh?
Nah, the kid was hungry. I gave him a dollar. about the spaceship too? Oh no, senor. Senor Angelo said keep mouth shut. Here's looking at Senor Angelo. Us. Soldiers. Welcome to Coquenca. We're running to a lot of them. Your papers. Jeep, you rent? That's right. Out. What's in that? Uh, television equipment. Thomas Barkley, San Francisco, Theodore Angelo, New York. Okay, stand by. Hey, so I'm on television. Not yet, man. What's in there? Light. Open it. Hello. Yes? You come here. You're under arrest, Senor Angelo. Why? What for? The order come in from radio. What order? For what? For murder, Senor. Two murders. But that's not true. Thank you. 
of murdering the professor and the antique dealer. The news report said there was strong evidence against you. Details are being withheld until captured. <laughs> Even a murderer. What next? If they weren't working for World Television, who were those men? Whoever they were, they were professionals. The much you can tell. My friend Bob said so. You think he's Secret Service too? I think Bob knows when to censor classified information. Why the cover-up? What's there to hide? Did you ever hear a politician talk about flying sauces? Hmm? double murder committed in the city of Cartagena. He is still at large. Inspector Robert Oveja, in charge of the investigation, says that the fugitive is still in the county. Anyone providing information leading to the criminal's arrest will be rewarded. Absolute discretion guaranteed. Dial Cartagena for 212 or for 213. Tragedy on the Sierra Nevada today. A military truck with four soldiers and a junior officer flew off the road and into a canyon. There were no survivors. Police authorities blame the accident on a mechanical breakdown. 
They would, wouldn't they? Moscow, Police, Secret Service, Service, the Army, they're all in on it. You know what that means? I'll never reach prison alive if they catch me. As on all official occasions, the full school of the Soviet regime was on hand to enjoy the show. Since early morning, eager see the spectacular event. A large and well-disciplined crowd. Slogans and folk songs accompanied the grand parade. Wait a minute. And the people applauded Wait. as the flag... The Russian embassy in Bogota. That will blow the lid on this. Right. Once the Russians break the news about the UFO, what will the CIA care about you? You got the idea. What's the matter, Ted? That man. I saw him before. I saw him on the island. He's the man who came to visit Osman. The Russian? Yeah. And a pretty important one, too. Judging by the company keeps. The Russians are involved, too? Undercover war. This space wreck is really causing quite a stir. The technology in that wreck could save humanity 2,000 years of research, most of it military. How did that Nazi holdsman from the Colombian city? Nothing. The ship is in the Sierras, their territory. They are selling to the highest bidder. God, what a mess I got myself into. We got ours. landed on his property for a half hour visit. The news sent shock ripples through the community until it was later discovered that the farmer had just recently been released from an institution for the mentally insane. It's the last thing on earth I feel like doing. But I have no choice. Murderer. He would know which way to pull the trigger. <laughs> Will you help him get out of Colombia? Sure. What do you want me to do? Well, first and foremost, not a word to anyone. All right, Wednesday, I'll be there. Oh, and, um, by the way, how are you two getting along? Let's say we're just friends. For the moment. should have given her more time. Two days isn't an awful lot to find a boat and come all the way down here on our own. Maureen's efficient as a machine. Is that why you left her? 
I met Maureen when I published my first novel. I thought I'd struck gold. She insisted on designing the cover. Being the boss's daughter, she got her way. But let me tell you, did she know the business? The book was a smash success. Our marriage, a crash failure. So I wrote a second book. But it is even worse than our marriage. Somehow, I can't help thinking she's responsible. That she programmed my downfall the same way she launched me. Efficiently. And since then, you've preferred your women fat and lazy. You're pretty efficient, too. Why should I trust an Italian rogue? Why should I shake up with some English lord's daughter with a bug for Spanish history? I've had to watch out for myself since I was 12 years old. Did your parents divorce? A car accident. Sorry. I was forced to make my own decisions from an early age. So? Well, when I see what I like, I make damn sure I get it. Yes? Maureen, it's Dad. Everything ready? I've been ready since this morning. Where are you? Now for me. How long will it take you to get here? Before dark with this boat, I found. You got someone to captain it? Yeah, I've hired a sailor. He's been there several times from Florida. Oh, what is he, a drug runner? No, no, he's not a drug runner. Just the same, don't tell him where the exact rendezvous is until you're on the way. Okay? Remember, Punta Tyrona, the inlet. So, off to Punta Tyrone. No, it's too soon. But you say we mingle with the crowd. It's safe. <laughs> Oh, 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 oh. Russian? 
Let me think about it. Señor, no se puede, no.
Who could have built a machine like that? Not even the Japanese. Well, someone must have made him. Nobody on Earth, that for sure. This thing is from another planet. Carried over by a UFO? Yeah. The governments are already in contact with the aliens. But us regular folks aren't supposed to know. And that explains why, despite all their radar and satellites, neither the Americans or the Russians have ever officially spotted the UFO. Don't believe what I'm gonna tell you. I see you've been having fun. It's been hard enough staying alive. Okay, Osei. Bueno, señora. Losing your touch, Maureen. You're just as trusting as that fool you married. Don't be so modest. You've managed to make quite a nuisance of yourself. I had plenty of reasons to kill you when you were my husband. I never thought I would do it now. Are you out of your mind? UFOs don't exist because none has ever fallen. You had the misfortune of coming across the one and only. <laughs> you two are just like Bob. Only, how do you fit into the conspiracy? Why shouldn't the people know we are in contact with the extraterrestrials? And why are the extraterrestrials keeping it a secret? They made them, didn't they? I told them they were all brawn and no brains. Told who? Told who? Here's one last token of my appreciation, Dad.
were here before you Earthlings learned how to battle. We need your planet. It contains a rare element that's indispensable to our spaceships. For 12,000 years, ever since we began exploring this solar system, your Earth has been our last supply stop. For centuries, we've had no problems. You were few, stupid. But then you multiplied. Your civilizations developed. Your ships began to explore even the most distant shores. Avoiding you became impossible. Your evolution was a threat, so we took measures. As you've seen, with mutants. We have been infiltrating your ranks for centuries. We govern you. Every key position on your Earth is occupied by one of us. We influence your decisions. We are the ones who are really in control. And when the time comes, we'll be the ones to push the button. Where is Maureen? What did you do to her? She's right here. You're looking at her, sugar. <laughs> you still taste good, Ted. I am partial to your flavor. Sensational, Ted Angelo. Too bad it'll never get published. Let me finish it first. One step at a time. Don't forget that I saw the one and only. The truth has fallen. Maybe one day, another will fall. <laughs> right in the middle of Times Square in New York. And the world will know. <laughs> 